you think? Alright, what is happening? It's Thursday, October 10, 2019, and I'm headed uh, home from work for the day. Didn't have a chance to make a video this morning, but uh, today is my parents' anniversary. They are married on this day in 1970, so 49 years. That is absolutely insane. I only made it to officially maybe seven, but uh, I don't know when we were separated and all that or whatnot or she was fucking my best friend um yeah maybe five years before she was doing that but then uh, she was fucking around with other people so yeah i guess it wasn't really married at all apparently cool um so i was working on these uh servers and the server stuff at uh at work today and trying out so I have a, a, a server that has a raid set up with a lot of internal capacity it's pretty cool awesome right so then I was testing out these external iSCSI um, storage drawers that I've been talking about so those external drawers hold 15 drives each each drive is two terabytes so it's a total of 30 terabytes and so what I did today was I was playing around with um, spanning drives so spanning drives are basically uh, from my understanding is you set up a pool of drives and so let's say I took like seven drives so when the first drive gets full it starts putting uh, files onto the next drive in that pool and then so on and so forth. As they fill up, each drive goes, you know, fills up across the way. Now, um, they don't, spanning, well, how do I word this? So spanning, spanning volumes are dynamic, but they don't have any fault tolerance. So I believe if a drive fails, then you're pretty much fucked. So um, what I, what, I don't know if this is the right way to do it, but what I'm thinking of doing is creating two spanning volumes. So one would be seven drives, so drives zero through six, and then the second one would be seven more drives, um, seven through 13. And that would leave one extra drive because there's a total of 15 drives. And so I'm gonna have two spanning volumes of seven drives each volume then would be 14 gigs yeah 12 yeah Amps. Wow. One point six amps. Low is two. High is two hundred. Not too bad. 
All right, so um, instead of just trying to talk about it, let me just show you guys what I'm talking about for this um, network stuff. So here you go. This is the server with the built-in internal um, RAID setup. So each one of these is a one terabyte hard drive and there is 16 total. Um, I wanna say I have like maybe two set up for the operating system and then um, a bunch for storage. So this is the server. I have the server connected with this one cable here from the server to the iSCSI drawer. And as you guys can see here, there's 15 drives. This is what I was talking about. So I took seven and seven and turned this seven into a single pool of a uh, hard drive and this one into a spanned volume. And what I'm gonna do is mirror these. So whatever's stored on these seven will be over on this seven. And with a spanned volume, if any of these hard drives fails, you lose everything. So by mirroring them, I'm hoping that I don't have one fail on both sides at the same time. Um, the last drive will be for, will not be used. That's kind of how it's going to work. Um, so right now, I have this connected. Might not be able to see it. There's a cable running on the floor to the network. You can see it flashing here. And I am copying over all of my movies from the NAS. So let me show you what the NAS looks like. So I talk about this all the time. I know it's a little bit dark down here. But... Uh, this box down here is a NAS, Network Attached Storage. This one will hold eight drives total. It's got six in it. You kind of see six lights there. Um, so this is where all of my personal files are stored. I have a little over 20 terabytes of usable space on this. And what I'm going to do is move off all of my media, uh, meaning movies, um, stuff like that. So, I don't know how much I have in terms of movies, but um, it's not a lot compared to the rest of my media. The rest of my media are photos, personal photos, uh, video. I save all the footage from these vlogs. Um, it's all on here. Um, so then, this is my network setup. So, let me show you kind of how it works. This is the Comcast Xfinity modem, router, access point, everything. Switch, it does it all. This is a UPS, uninterruptible power supply. Um, there's a battery system in here. We lose power, the devices, the electronics are plugged into this, and this will keep it powered up um, until the batteries die or whatever. So what I'm doing with my new setup is I have Comcast as my modem. This is my edge router. So the screen, comes from Comcast in. This edge router is connected via this cable to the Edge Switch 10 XP, port one. And then we have um, the NAS, my server. Um, this is the access point. And then this is the, the, uh, the media server that I'm building upstairs. So this is the Ubiquiti Mesh access point. It's actually, there's only one cable going into it and it's powered over ethernet. So I think this is the cable here potentially. Um, PoE, so power over ethernet. So this switch provides the power that powers that. Um, what's interesting is this ubiquity mesh access point, I get almost three times the speeds um, through that versus connecting to the uh, Comcast Xfinity built-in one. thought that was interesting. So port 1 is the uplink, port 2 is the mesh access point, PoE, and you can see there's a, an extra light lit here, that's for the PoE. The black cable is a NAS, this guy is my existing server, and then this is the new server or media server or whatever. The thing that I don't like about the media server is the noise. It's a little bit loud. So I'm not sure if I'm going to stick with that or not. Um, 
We'll see. I might move it downstairs. I might try to see if there's um, bio settings that would um, make it a little bit quieter. So, not exactly sure. Um, in terms of power, this is a I think this is like an 800 watt power supply. So it's pretty beefy power supply. I'm not even sure. Yeah, oh, here it is. It says 800 watt. So that's a little bit more powerful than my existing server. But this server also has like 8 or, or 10 terabytes of usable space built into it. Um, I keep talking about it, but this is the controller card. For the iSCSI and it looks like it can do up to four drawers that's like direct connect and then I think you can even daisy chain these drawers together and do it and set them up that way but um, so not too bad it's a simple setup I'm just kind of worried I don't know how much power something like this will consume so um, but yeah I'm using uh, Plex as my media server and it's it's really nice my buddy Luke told me about it so um, but yeah so like I said if I do half of these that's about um, 12 usable and then there's 8 or 10 usable on here so this setup is has the same amount of storage space as my NAS and you guys saw I'm like my NAS is tiny it's awesome but it's so expensive like this was just old hardware at work laying around no one's going to use destined for disposal for garbage and free um, so I love the NAS I really really do it's just I couldn't afford I don't have 500 bucks or whatever it is to uh, drop on more hard drives <laughs> so there you have it